Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo Grandmaster run on this week's featured Grandmaster, which is the Inverted Spire. I'm doing it on Solar Warlock. Uh, I'm using Well of Radiance. Now, to make this run possible, you need to make sure you have these two fragments. Not these two, these two. Ember of Char, Ember of Ashes. You need to couple them with Solar Fulmination and Revitalizing Blast, which are on your class ability. I'll explain why you need to have all four of those as the run goes on. I'm using the Perez D Scout Rifle with Shoot to Loot and Explosive Payload. Uh, I'm using Graviton Lance and I'm using Storm Chaser. Uh, Starfire Protocol is my exotic uh, for the double fusion grenades. And also, because I'm not using Classy Restoration, if I get a kill with my grenade, it gives me my, my Rift back straight away. So that's pretty cool. And you can see everything else I'm using. If you're interested in mods or anything, you can pause the video, go back and have a look. So, Ember of Char, Ember of Ashes, Solar Fulmination, and Revitalizing Blast. What they do is, when you stop a champion or break a champion's shield, or even if it's a if it, different Nightfall, an Overload champion, once you disrupt, break, or stop, if there are any adds around or other champions, it starts chaining the explosion from Revitalizing Blast off the adds, meaning you're just going to have massive explosions going on. If you've got a couple of champions together, one stop can kill all the champions, and it's a, it's a, it's a game changer. It save you ammunition, it save you time. You can start to work out, you know. And I know it's a bit late in the season now for this to be, oh, you know. And I know it's been spoke about before, but I'm not sure it's actually been explained. Uh, it still is going to help you farm this. It's it's on 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 doing this edit. It's Sunday, so you've still got today and tomorrow and Tuesday to. To, you know to get some runs in here using this setup makes it very easy this is a 20 minute gm solo gm which i think pretty good time and considering i'm doing it on console not that i know some people are going to go what, what why is that why is that important to name that well, i don't have the movement the accuracy of a pc player so it, it just goes to show that even on with a controller you can still get this really quickly so i always go to the same spot at the start High ground for me is always a good thing. If you see any fallen, have a look out for the dreg because it's arc burn, so 50%. It's acute arc burn, so 50% additional incoming arc damage. The uh, the the dreg's little grenades that they throw all of a sudden become an issue. So you need to make sure you take them down. When I get over here, I, I focus on the two snipers immediately in front of me. And then I'll push forward, put a couple of shots on these legionaries, which causes them all to come. They all want a bit of the action. Just do a little jump, throw a grenade, throw my melee, which, as you can see, makes me radiant. That's one of your fragments. Uh, charged melee hits cause you to become uh, radiant. So that's all now. With him dead, that's all the legionaries gone. And all the snipers, so it's just us and this Colossus. So I break his shield, and what I'll do is I'll maybe put a shot. Now, the, the kind of ledge that I jumped up onto, or that platform I jumped up onto, where I started shooting him, with the Storm Chaser, if you're behind that, it's a good chance you're not going to be hitting crits. It's, I don't know, it's just out of the range. But if you move forward, just past the entrance, that little tunnel where we killed the legionaries, you will. that is, that is the, the distance where you'll start hitting crits on his tiny little, you know, pea head that he's got. And then when I go in the teleporter, I call my sparrow immediately and then just leave my joysticks. Just You'll just glide over. You'll land perfectly. Now, this is what the setup does with solar fulmination, revitalizing blast, char, and ashes. You see all those explosions? As long as he, his explosions are hitting other enemies, it chains them back to him. And you can see with him running towards the minotaur, he's gained enough energy that he's going to keep exploding. Now, he's hit the, the minotaur. Now he's chaining even more explosions back to him, and basically, that one stop killed him and all the enemies that were near him. Now, I mean, that's, that is, whatever way you look at that, that is very good. So I'll, I'll use my Storm Chaser to kill this uh, Colossus. Then I'm going to move over here. There's an exploding box. You want, to, you want to make sure you get rid of that from, you know, don't go too close to it. Now we're going to have two barriers up here. If, you, it, th this is hit and miss, right? You can, if you do enough damage quickly, you can get this hobgoblin to chain off the goblins that have just went past it. 
Now, I only got one chain, so I got one additional explosion. So, break his shield again. Now, you've got to be careful. You can see I'm, I'm trying to head glitch. Uh, because the snipers, they obviously do a fair bit of damage. So, I have to break his shield again. I was a bit slow in switching, but we get a double explosion here. And the grenade will sort him out. Now, I'm just going to use my radiance, and I want to... I want to chain damage from this barrier to these minotaurs. That should take out the minotaurs and do a, a fair bit to the champion. You see there, he's still exploding. And now I finish, if he explodes when I break him here, because sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, I'll throw a grenade over here. If he explodes, that, would, that kills him, which it did. So the grenades kill a bunch of goblins. Now the rest of them are going to just teleport. When there's like three or four left, they'll start teleporting over here. So that is basically this area done. Uh, we've got a couple of more champions underneath. Uh, which what? Now the champions underneath, you'll see here. I've got I've got eight heavy. Uh, first time I get a brick, uh, you'll see how many I get. I think I think I get a brick. I don't get a brick here. Chain those explosions. Now what can happen here, which isn't great. I was expecting them all to die because they normally do, but the the unstoppable backed away. So he was out of range of the, the chains. That can happen, but it doesn't happen very often. So, as you can see there, I had to put uh, more damage. Normally, the unstoppable is almost dead, and you can see there, explosions kill him. I have seven heavy. Now, I'm probably going to... I think I use one on this next barrier. Uh, and... and and, and then I get a brick, and you see I get 10 heavy. That's because of the thing with uh, shoot to look an explosive payload. It gives you more heavy than, than walking over it if you shoot it. It's got to be a direct hit. So, you see there, we never got the break on him. So I'll throw a grenade. And then I'll break him. I'll break his shield again. Now, I, I, I used to say it's quite a, quite a bit. Be careful with ammo consumption, especially in this for this run. You see there? Got 10 from one brick. That never happens. But it's made possible by this shoot to loot explosive payload thing. So once I take out the scions, I just ignore these two guys and move straight to the, this next section. Now, this next section can glitch. And the, I think I've worked out why. So once you kill these guys, these legionaries... That circle you can see on the floor, you've got to land on that platform. Don't just go straight to the wall. You've got to actually land on the platforms. It's pretty silly. It's the same, it's kind of the same as Warden or Nothing, whereas if you go down the drop bit too fast, uh, the ads don't appear. So it's it's kind of it's kind of silly. Couple of champions here. If we can get some chaining going on, that would be great. Uh these, the Hobgoblins are the most annoying champions because they're the hardest ones to break. Because, and it's gone to the point where I don't even bother now with, with, uh, with trying to get crits. Now, I did actually chain the explosions onto the other champion, but I wanted to make sure at least one of them died. So you see there, we got, we got another explosion there. I'm hoping the Unstoppable stays there, and then, then we can get some chainage going on. I'll just see if I can take out this, uh guy here you see there it took out the explosions actually took out the hobgoblin and what I'll do is I'll just do that and that's the unstoppable taking out the explosions are the thing trying to make sure you chain those explosions you know stopping champions when they're in the opportunity you know the, the right place to actually garner explosions not just I mean if there's a champion on the wrong there's nothing you can do about it but if you can stop them near other enemies then it's fireworks night. So be careful of the ship firing at you. I was I was lucky that, that it didn't. But I always go for the snipers. So while I'm doing the snipers, I'm throwing grenades trying to take out those ads over in the centre. Uh, I don't have a melee and I don't have another grenade. But this is where it was at this section here that I feel Graviton Lance earned its money. Because obviously it's an anti-barrier, so it's just breaking through the shields. The minute I break a shield... When I stop a champion or whatever, uh, 
I'm just going to throw a grenade. There's always a couple of, you see there, it took out both of the legionaries. There's always legionaries hiding in these two sections. This section on the left, and then this section on the right. There's always a couple of legionaries. Now, I never, I don't know, I didn't manage to kill him. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to him. So, this crater that we're at, if we walk up to the edge of it, I'll just take out this barrier here. I've got heavy over there, which is nice to know. I've got some in reserve at least. Uh, go up to the edge of this this uh, crater, looking for that barrier. You'll see it coming from far right. See the drop pod coming in? That's awesome that you can watch it from so far away. That brings in the champion. So one burst of your, your linear should should uh, make him want to shield. I'll just toss a grenade on him. And then finish him with Storm Chaser. That's the champion gone. Now we've got to clear the two rooms. Now what I try to do, we know we've got an ad hiding in there so what i try and do is use my grenades you see there the explosions off the grenades do do a bit of work now the minute i start shooting at this champion this uh guy that's when it, that's when he came out the the the, the blood worthy uh guy you see there i've just tossed a grenade in there it's causing you know ads to burn and whatever i'm looking for one of them to come out so you can take both of them from the center section Right, you see there he is, he's seen me now, he'll probably come out after me. Be careful, because even from that distance, they're deadly with that arc shot. But so is the Storm Chaser. So, that should be the last add in there. And then, it, I, I find that nearly always he goes over to the left side. So, I'm hoping he comes back out. Now, I don't really want to use another heavy just just for one shot so now we'll go up here now this sometimes see there i got two sometimes that will happen but it doesn't happen nearly as much as it does when you're just walking over the ammo so i'm gonna go get up once i've done a little scoot about for heavy then we're gonna go after the unstoppable now there is an unstoppable over the other side and we're gonna use just wait for him to come in the middle see there we're gonna use that explosion and then there's two, I, I, I'm always only really interested in taking one of the Centurions. Sometimes if, if I'm feeling like I'd just done that for a bit of a, I didn't expect it to actually land, and it did. So I managed to take both of them out. And as you can see there, that's the Unstoppable Gone. The, the, the Solar Fulmination, Revitalizing Blast, Ash and Char. That, those explosions do so much damage. So, here, we're, we're making good time, just under 12 minutes, we're getting over at this section. Sometimes, I was just looking to see where the barrier was, sometimes you'll have heavy up here. I Now I take the barrier champion from up here, so I throw these two barrels down. Now, you can get lucky, see there he is there, so I'm just going to throw my grenade, see if it does anything. Put my rift down, be very careful. There he is there. Now sometimes, uh... The, the two gladiators will chain explosions off them if they're close enough. This time it didn't. So there's the barrier. Just looking to see if there's any heavy. So what I do now is I drop down, especially like this what I do on the wall look, and I land on top of one of these. And then it allows me to take the gladiators out with no stress. So I know that that's one. I'm, sometimes they run underneath you, so you've got to be careful. But I did see one run over to the right. There he is. So what we want is we want him to stun him so he doesn't jump out the way of this. And then the grenade kills him. Just check for any heavy. Make sure your heavy's reloaded at this point. Interact with this and then back away to the center. And get the stop on, on, on the unstoppable. Now all that's done, it hasn't stopped him. Right? All it done uh, was... Uh, cause an explosion to kill the two legionaries that he was with, right? Once he, if you stop him in the air, it won't actually stop him, right? All it will do is cause an explosion. All I, all I do here is kill maybe one or two dogs, a couple of dogs, just to try and get some heavy, but don't kill all the dogs. Now, even standing where I'm standing, as long as you're on, on you know, into the right, uh, you'll the drop pods and all that won't, won't hurt you, but the dogs can't do anything. Once all the, the visible dogs to me are, are dead, I don't go hunting anymore. You know, I've got 14, 
I want to have 19 shots when I get to the boss. That is kind of requisite to this run. So the minute we get to 100, I kind of look. When the barricade leaves, when you see that bar barrier over the other side disappear, that's when I go. It gives these void guys time to get away from me. Now you see there, there's a void guy right there. You just take him out with uh, Graviton. I've dropped another brick of heavy, which is nice. I'm looking for the unstoppable. I want to chain off the unstoppable because there is a there is a, a guy down there. But unfortunately, the explosions didn't 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 chain off him. So we need the unstoppable to come out in there. See how it's just chaining off him, and, and that one stop almost killed him. So what we'll do is we'll stop him, toss a grenade on him, all the, all the usual, and he's gone. So I'll just collect that brick. Now I've got 19. You'll always have some snipers over here. Explode the box. And you'll pr still have to put one shot on each of them. And now down here you're going to have an unstoppable. You're going to have uh, a void shielded blood guard. We're going to get the stop on the unstoppable. And that starts a chain reaction of explosions. Which should kill the unstoppable and the blood guard. Sometimes, if you get lucky, uh, the ch the chain will will chain over to these ads as well, and one stop can kill everything here. It, the stopping works best with the unstoppables because barriers will shield, and the minute they shield, that's it. So, 15 minutes in, not bad. We don't need any more heavy, uh, so we're going to push down. We've got three barriers here. We're going to take the first barrier and hope we can get some chains off the first barrier. Uh, so I, I go up here. There's an exploding barrel here. I get rid of that. And then as soon as the barrier comes out, I'll try and land a grenade on him from up here. And then I'll be breaking his shield. And if there's enough adds or any adds close to him, you can see there he is chaining shots. He is chaining off them. I'll throw another grenade. I do not have to re-break re him. And now you just got to make sure if you can get it fast enough like that, it will chain to all the adds. So there won't be a phalanx up top because the explosion's chained to him as well. Now, there'll be two phalanxes down here, which I always like to take. You can explode the barrels to kill them. And that's them dead. So now we're going to go over here. There's going to be a bunch of dogs. There's going to be two barriers. These barriers can be really funny with the brakes because uh, even though I'm getting, getting the, the shield broke, I wasn't getting explosions, it just seemed to happen sometimes. So, but when you can get the explosions to chain, then one, you know, the explosion, you see there's another break. Broke the shield again and never got the revitalizing blast to proc. So there we go, now we've got the explosions, now we've just got to keep breaking. And sometimes, you see there, I've got the break there and, and no explosions. The minute you start to chain those explosions, get the break on him, and then I'll probably have to put a grenade on him. And there he's gone. So when when they are dead, they they, they can be quite funny with with you know quite strange not not chaining the explosions. So that's us at the boss. So the main thing at the boss is, I'm not going to use my well till I hit the bottom, right? So I'll use a rift. I should get my rift back uh, on the second level. I'm going to give myself a chance uh, to uh, get grenades back here because I'm not wanting to use any of my heavy, so I'm going to use my grenade, go after these, uh, you see there, it broke it broke the shield, and because I've got 100% uh, discipline, I'm going to get my grenades back relatively quickly, you know, in, in, in comparison. So, it's just unfortunate. It can be, it can be quite unfortunate hitting these... Hitting, hitting harpies with grenades. It's not too difficult, but you, you always stand the chance that they'll do that pirouette. And as you can see there, I've got a, one of my grenades back. I'm just going to whitt whittle this last ha ha harpy down uh, with with Graviton and the Perez just to give myself a chance to get my second grenade. I could have used a heavy and hoped for heavy from either, either this harpy or one of the goblins at the end you see there I've decided I'll put a grenade on and I'm hoping that I'll almost 
by the time I take him down, I'll be close to getting my second grenade. So there we go. We'll put we'll put uh, my rift down. And what I what you do here with the boss is melee. He is able to be meleeed the minute he appears, and then you want to put a bunch of shots on him. Use this left pillar as, as cover, and then it'll get to this point. Where, if, it's like if he doesn't appear when he teleports, if he doesn't appear in that right corner, he's gone. Right? So what we do now is we, we, we drop down, make sure you, you stop your your fall. Uh, and what we'll do is, we've landed next to the pillar. I'll give it a second, then I'll stick him with a grenade. Get the double explosion off the grenade. And then, when he bends down to punch the floor, uh, I'll just throw another grenade on him. Try and save an extra shot if I can right that's 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 all she wrote uh, when he goes down to punch the ground I shouldn't have really shot him again because I knew he was immune when he goes down to punch the ground what he's doing is he's setting the floor on fire that's why we start on the ground and then we jump up on the pillar when he goes to punch the ground you get about about a second or two see there there we've got 10 heavy back to full heavy there uh, that's why we jump up on the pillar so when we get down here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unload on him. I'm not bothered about ads, but what I am bothered about is my position. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my well down behind, so that the well goes behind one of these blocks, right? And now I'm just going to go after him. Now the reason why is because there's going to be a bunch of ads coming in. You want to have this cover where I am now, because you can still fire over it. You're just, you've just not got tons of incoming damage. And as you can see, pretty straightforward, right? There you go, guys. That is a 20-minute uh, GM. 20 minutes and seconds. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoy it. I hope this helps you guys get some decent runs of your, of your own, get that loot. There's a, you know, this rocket launcher is a pretty decent uh, legendary rocket launcher, and you obviously want a ton of it exotics and ascendant shards and whatever thanks a lot for watching if you did enjoy the video a like would be appreciated tell me what you enjoyed about the video in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video